So, the Pope has named the next batch of cardinals. There will be a consistory in, in August. I do find it very interesting uh, looking at the list because back on um, exactly on the 25th of April, I said, you know, the, pow the Pope was announced, was about to announce new cardinals. And I had it on my list was Arthur Roach as the number one on the list. And I'm looking here today um, at the news. And there it is, number one, Arthur Roach at the top. And number two, also as I predicted, Lazaro, Lazaro Yui Yung Sik, the prefect of the congregation of the Clero. So this is the news, guys. I think it's very predictable what the Pope is doing. Very predictable, you know. Um, some people were saying that, uh, that the Pope was angry with Arthur Roach for all of what was going on last year well it doesn't seem to be the case because he got the red hat um and it's very interesting to see the number of people who's on the list robert McElroy, the arch uh, the archbishop of san diego is on the list um there, there's the vet, the bishop of como <laughs> i mean uh, it's very very interesting to see uh, the list of people that uh, Gianfranco Girlanda, a Jesuit. So anyway, this is the this is the new list. Uh, as of today, there are 117 cardinals who have can vote in, in the next conclave. And from uh, from today, seven of the card uh, cardinals would would be over uh, 80 or something like that. I'm just reading the news here, but look, predictable, very predictable. I'm looking at here, nothing. Nothing that we weren't expecting. Arthur Roach, number one on the list of new cardinals. That gives you the pout. That is telling you where the Pope wants to take the church, where the Pope wants to take the liturgy, where the Pope is, is drawing the church. Um, because anybody that was looking at those two documents last year, which completely contradict the, the living emeritus Pope Benedict, you know, cracking down, this is the Arthur Roach that doesn't want to have private masses in the, ma the Vatican, which I can't for the life of me understand. It used to be something beautiful to go into St. Peter's and to see priests celebrating on the altars around St. Peter. Beautiful. It used to be something amazing. I mean, you could always, I lived in Rome, I was a seminarian in Rome, to go to the Vatican to ha and to assist at mass at the many altars which I have been to mass at every single one of the private altars in the Vatican both on the on the main the main level and below this beautiful altars in St. Peter's and Arthur Roach let's face it the enemy of the liturgy in the church the enemy of what previous generations held sacred what was sacred to us Arthur Roach has as predicted as I predicted has been made cardinal. Um, so now, this is a very interesting time. I think it's a very predictable time. Let's see who will be the next Pope. Uh, and I do predict who will be the next Pope. I do believe it will be somebody supported by the Jesuits, um, somebody from the Philippines, and somebody with ties to China. I do believe that will be the person that they will elect as the next Pope. Or if he's not elected, he will be very, kept very close in Rome. Who knows? Let's see. But, guys, I think we can see a very predictable Pope, a very predictable uh, consistory. Um, we're not seeing here our Archbishop Cordelione being elected. What I do find very interesting in these in this list of people is we have now Cardinal Verdigas Alsaga. Uh, this this is the second legionary of Christ that Pope Francis has created Cardinal, um, which I find very interesting uh, that uh, you know Fernando would have been made a cardinal, especially given the fact that now Sodano is dead. Sodano, who was the great promoter of Father Marcial, and we've had the controversy around for, uh, Bishop uh, or Cardinal Kevin Farrell, who said, I didn't know anything about, I didn't know anything about 
McCarrick didn't know anything about McCarrick didn't I only met Father Marcel once or twice despite being ordained in the Legions of Christ and everybody laughing at that statement that he made in the Irish Times and then we saw his statements coming out in the McCarrick report <laughs> you know strange times strange times and uh, it does it's, it seems very interesting that we have under Pope Francis the second Legionaries of Christ um, Cardinal um we have very predictable choices understandable he seems to be very um keeping his the people around him very close and uh, i can fully see him staging the next election of the pope i think it's all staged it's all planned very it's all seem, seems to be plodding along very 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 correctly um is he going to resign who knows but interesting 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 times um for some of you say well look cardinal kelvin farrell had left the legionaries of christ he was ordained in the legion of christ as formation was there i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that i had nine years of formation there good guys and so on and so forth um was it uh but let's face it <laughs> there was a lot of problems in there as well a lot of problems a lot of problems in how people are formed and uh these seems to be these haven't gone away haven't totally gone away but interesting times interesting times god bless take care bye bye so we're just going to have a look at the cardinals that have been chosen by pope francis today and i i haven't gone to any special uh, preparation here i've just taken it from wikipedia which i think seems to be correct what i did find interesting is it's up to to um he has created cardinal um Gianfranco Girlanda and his um he would turn 80 on the 5th of July of this year so technically speaking i mean they've marked him off the college of cardinals as an elector but technically speaking if there was a conclave today because the pope has named these people as cardinal i wonder would they be included or excluded maybe can somebody can tell me because i'm not the 100 percent the expert here do they have to go through the official ceremony of being created a cardinal in august or do they would they if the if the pope died today would they be included in the in the conclave just just an interesting fact but anyway let's let's have a look at the at the consistory that will happen in in august of this year so we have first of all we have Arthur Roach. Arthur Roach, yes, the great destroyer of the beautiful tree of the traditional liturgy. Um, <laughs> well, no, we can't blame that on him. He didn't destroy it. He he just made sure it wasn't going. He just made sure that these branches that were beginning to sprout on that tree weren't going to uh, take uh, form in that, that tree. He's the pruner of the liturgy, um, made sure that all those lovely priests that were saying mass in private mass in the Vatican wouldn't been able to do so. Well, very predictable. Arthur Roach has been named uh, Cardinal Roach and he's age 72. So another another uh, predictable one is uh, Lazarus. Uh, let me just pull it up. Uh, La Lazarus Yu Yong Sik from Korea. I also had predicted that he would be named um cardinal because he's the prefect of the congregation of the clergy i don't know much about him um but i suppose we'll be looking further into him now uh, a man i know extremely well is uh cardinal will cardinal verdigas he will be um uh, named cardinal um he's a legionary of christ uh, often saw him around the college when i was in rome as i was a legionary of christ myself uh, interesting interest i'm not saying that he's a bad choice i'm just saying you know at this time when cardinal sudano has just died who was the great defender from father marcel we have you know the day later uh, legionary of christ made cardinal and he is 77 at the moment next we have uh, jean marc aveline he's age 63 he's the metropolitan archbishop of marseille so interesting i I will have to look into him again. Uh, Peter uh, Ebere Opalke. I do, we don't even have a picture of him. I'll just see. 
So yes, so it's um, Bishop Ok Paleke as Cardinal. We'll have to see. I'd be interesting to see. Uh, next we have Bishop Leonardo Ulrich Steiner of Brazil. He doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. He's age 71. Bishop Felipe Neri uh, of um, India, Sebastian. So he's the seventh Roman Catholic Patriarch of the East Indies and the 35th Metropolitan of the Diocese of Goa. Uh, interesting. Robert McElroy, I mean, very liberal bishop. No surprise there. He was educated by the Jesuits. Um, you know, what were we expecting? You know, a little dig at Archbishop Cordelione there over um, in, uh, in San Francisco, I think. So, no, very predictable. Uh, Virgilio Dor Carmen da Silva. Um, he's from East Timor. Oscar Cantoni, he's an Italian. He's age 71. He's the Bishop of Como. Uh, Anthony Pola, he doesn't have a Wikipedia page yet. I'm sure we'll see one popping up pretty soon. Um, Paulo Cesar Costa, the Predator of Brasilia. You know, as if. So that's um second Brazilian uh, bishop to be named. We also have from Africa, um, um, from Ghana, Bishop Richard Kuya. From Singapore, uh, Bishop William Go. Uh, Paraguay, Bishop Adalberto Martinez Flores. And lastly, the youngest bishop ever to be created cardinal in the last number of years this is ki kind of reminiscent if i'm not mistaken of um of john paul ii who was created uh, cardinal very young in his 40s so this is an italian-born prelate he's currently in mongolia um he was ordained by cardinal luis antonio tagle He's 47 years old, so he's from the Novus Ordo era. He's the first cardinal that's younger than me. So I'm feeling my age here. Very interesting. Very interesting choice. So it'll be interesting to see uh, who, are, who will be the next, uh, the, who will be actually in the next college. So going back to the file here, these are the cardinals created. And I'm just going to unblock here and... Uh, and apply here the Pope Francis. So of the Cardinals electors at the moment, we're with, with Pope Francis, uh, so it's 120. So 83, 83 Cardinals now in the College of Cardinals have been created by Pope Francis. Um, and we have, from, from John Paul II's era, we have... Uh, 19 cardinals and from uh, from pope benedict's era we have what what are we looking at um 26 left cardinal electors so let's that's that's really the rundown the the college now is uh, yeah the college is now over it's over um it was practically nearly 70 percent 66 percent is uh is our, our cardinals created by pope francis so that will give an understanding of where we're heading uh interesting times let's see what will happen uh but uh that's that's just an idea who do i think will be the next pope personally who do i think ah who do I think? I wonder. I wonder who do I think? Well, I think we're looking at Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle as one of the contenders for sure. Um, but maybe, I don't know. We'll have to see. This is all up for grabs. I do think it'll be somebody um, that's in the Curia. Somebody that is known 
somebody that has a Wikipedia page, for example, a well-created Wikipedia page, this, this conclave, the next conclave, will bring together cardinals from all around the world that really don't know each other. They haven't met for years. So it'll be interesting to see what's going on. Anyway, just from thought. So that's the rundown of who will be in the next conclave. I suppose somebody could just let me know from the canon lawyer point of view if there was a conclave tomorrow. Or in the, well, it wouldn't be tomorrow if, if it would be in two weeks time if something happened today. But if there was a conclave in the immediate future, would those cardinals who have been named but are, haven't, uh, have, uh, haven't been in the consistory and, and rogues, would they be included or excluded? I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure somebody in the comments will, leave me, will let me know. Um, and as I said interesting times exciting times people are saying robert why aren't you depressed with what's going on i said because you know man plans and god laughs and i think he is having a good laugh when he's looking at people's predictions or even what i'm commenting on man plans and god's la and god laughs let god uh, will and uh, the holy spirit will be working in people's lives as i've seen it and god will will make sure that uh, things turn out correctly so we shouldn't get anxious or depressed and who knows who knows interesting times so leave me or it's leaving me some comments below who do you think will be the next pope i'd love to know god bless take care bye bye <laughs>